Is this really okay? I told you I could do it using the leftover funds from the original deposit. Don't tell me you're afraid that I cheaped out on the dress. No, not at all. I have only the fullest faith in your work, Miss Chiori. I'm just in shock, that's all. It's always been my dream to wear a Chioria boutique dress for my wedding. I really thought the chance had passed me by. Wait, isn't that Chiori? She's actually at her shop today? Oh, you've got a point there. Well, once she's done with her customer, we can go and ask her. I'm a woman of my word. If I say I can do something, then it'll be done. The first rule of business is to always keep your promises. Now, remember to not fold the gown, or store it under direct sunlight. I'd recommend only taking it out on the day of the wedding. But from the look on your face, I can tell that may be a little difficult for you. Oh, I'll try my best. <laughs> Once he sees me in this, his jaw is gonna drop straight to the floor. Chiori, you're actually at your shop today! Is that really so shocking? It is mine, after all. Anything you're looking for today? A custom design, or perhaps some ready-to-wear outfits for kids? Hey, Paimon's not a kid! Oh. That. Well, if news of the event has reached your ears, I suppose the Fontaine Apparel Association's advertising efforts have paid off. Are there any fun and popular activities that we can take part in? Ugh, fashion week isn't what I'd call fun. But it certainly always attracts a crowd. It's a fashion extravaganza that only takes place once a year, after all. Will you be showing off some of your designs, too? Of course. All designers at the Court of Fontaine use the week to advertise their brand. If you're lucky, you could even land a large amount of orders as soon as the main show ends. Come to think of it, it was also at a previous fashion week that our label first took off. Hmm, aren't you pretty much an established name now? People will still buy your clothes even if you don't participate this year, right? Yeah, that's not quite how it works. While many people buy clothes for fit and style, the fashion industry also strongly values a label's artistic vision and creative direction. Why would anyone patronize a label that hasn't even bothered to put out any new designs for the year? In the end, fashion is just a representation of the spirit of the times. People support your brand because they support the vision it represents. Huh. Okay, so maybe fashion's more complicated than Paimon thought. <laughs> Uh, all that complicated stuff aside, you're saying we'll be able to see new Chioria designs at the show? Absolutely. The designs have already been finalized. I'm just waiting for the fabrics to arrive. Ooh, are you using materials you can't get in Fontaine? Well, I still have a certain partiality to Inazuma-made fabrics. The textures are pleasant to the touch, and their familiarity gives me a sense of security. Ugh, something like that, yes. We're a long way from Inazuma, though. Aren't you concerned that your shipment might get lost or stolen along the way? No need to worry. I've already taken steps to ensure that it'll arrive safely. I've entrusted the job to Komani Express's most reliable courier. Excuse me! Coming through! Coming through! Chiori, you're... Your shipment's here. I know it's quite late, so I'm oh, really, really sorry. Deep breaths, Kirara, then start again. Oh, so Kirara's the courier you were talking about. Oh, hey, Traveler and Paimon. Fancy seeing you here in Fontaine. It's been a while. Wait a second. This is the second time that you've seen me flub a delivery job now, isn't it? Oh, you somehow always happen to catch me off my game, huh? So, what was the holdup? Sailing delays? Bad weather? Huh? No, nothing like that. I just ran into a bit of trouble, that's all. Bandits, then? Or treasure hoarders? 
A few run-ins on the road aren't usually enough to give you any trouble. Uh, well, I didn't run into anyone exactly. I just got a little lost. Keeping you honest as always, I see. Uh, all right, all right. I was stopped by a group of bandits as soon as I entered Fontaine. They were a little different from the ones I usually run into. I could hear them mumbling about Comunia Express. It was obvious they were looking for someone with two tails. So it was a targeted hit? Uh, I got the sense that they were actually targeting Chiori's goods. My fabric shipment? Yeah, they said that I could go as long as I left the goods with them. Otherwise, they'd stuff me into my delivery box and toss me into the sea to drown. Oh, are you okay, Kimura? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I'm still a yokai after all. I turned them over to the guards. It just took me a while to round them all up. Well, it's not completely out of the ordinary for one of your deliveries to get intercepted. But it still doesn't make sense how you knew it was my goods they were after. You've got other deliveries to make in Fontaine, don't you? Is there something else that you're keeping from me? Huh? Um... Well... <sighs> Perhaps I need to reconsider how many stars to give you in my review. Uh, you always know how to get me, Chiori. Alright, I'll talk, I'll talk. <clears throat> so... I kind of wanted to know why anyone would order a hit on me, so I spent a bit of time investigating. One of the bandits had a loose tongue, which saved me some time. He said that a certain person had commissioned them to intercept Chioria Boutique's delivery. And who might this person be? Uh, Chiori, why don't we just let this one go? I mean, I didn't really get injured, and you've still got Fashion Week to worry about... I appreciate your kindness, Kirara, but if I don't teach this person a lesson, I doubt they'll stop here. Anyone that dares to mess with one of my friends deserves a stern talking to and then some. Alright. The guy said that the commissioner was someone by the name of Uter. Uter? Now that name rings a bell. Wouldn't you say, Kirara? Well, that's exactly why I didn't want to bring it up to you. So you both know this Uter guy? Through Chiori's complaints about him, sure. He's a fellow fashion designer who's made it his goal in life to make hers as miserable as possible. Oh, so he's like a business rival. A rival is what you call someone who fights you fair and square. Uter, however, just has it out for me as a designer. He's publicly disparaged my design choices, my use of materials. <laughs> He's practically tried every trick in the book to ruin my good name. I've already warned him before to compete with me fair and square, but I guess he prefers playing dirty. Well, I'm more than happy to oblige. Wait, Chiori, where are you going? To teach someone a lesson. You must be tired after your long journey. Why don't you rest in my shop for a little while before heading back? Chiori! Wait! And she's gone. Oh no. What should we do? You seem concerned. Should we be worried about Chiori? Well, she's always been the type of person to face things head on. But with her fiery temper, I'm just worried whatever she's about to do will feel negative publicity about her right before the start of Fashion Week. Traveler, Paimon, could you go after her and check out the situation for me? As a formal employee of Comania Express, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to get involved. Yeah, we'll take good care of Chiori! Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I'm more worried about that Uter guy's safety. Any chance you're on the clock, officer? <sighs> Nothing good ever comes out of you addressing me like that. Oh? And I see the Traveler and Paimon are here too. 
Chevras, we meet again. Well, things have been fine on my end. We were able to bring in a large number of recruits thanks to that film we made. I suppose the trade-off is that I'm now constantly getting stopped for autographs while out on patrol. Not ideal, if you ask me. Well, you were one of the leading roles after all. So, did something happen? Indeed it did. I'll need you to come with me. <laughs> I only ever hear that phrase from you. Usually I'm the one asking people to do that. Well, are you coming? Not before I know what you're planning. Have I ever made a bad call? The better question is, have you ever made one that didn't violate proper procedure? <sighs> okay. A man hired a group of bandits to mug my friend. I'm about to go teach him a lesson. Are you sure this is something you should be telling the captain of the special patrol? It's getting hard to tell whether you're here to report a case or turn yourself in for one. Neither. I'm requesting personal supervision from said captain, so I don't do anything too out of line. Are you planning to? Not if I can help it. <sighs> All right. Where is this person? Follow me. This should be the place. You all wait here. I'll go have a... chat with him. You know, Chevras, Paimon gets the sense that you two are actually pretty close. It's just as Chiori said. We got to know each other pretty well in our lines of work. You could call it a you-scratch-my-back-and-I'll-scratch-yours sort of situation. Does Chiori often need your help? Uh, I'd say it's mutual. The Special Patrol needs her help quite often as well. We've got tough problems of our own. Getting people to talk, for example. The uniform, the musket, they're intimidating. Most people clam up the minute they see us. Lips sealed so tight, getting them to talk almost feels like trying to break into the Fortress of Maripede. But put them in a clothing boutique, and they suddenly start gushing faster than the waters at the Fountain of Lucene. Oh, is it because they're trying to show off or something? Yep. People are vain creatures. They can't help but want to talk up new developments in their lives or show off how much they know about other people. And nothing brings out that sort of vanity quite like fashion. As a result, Shiori often picks up on all kinds of information in her shop. Most of her customers are members of the upper class, which means they're pretty much up to the gills in wealth and intel. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Huh, Paimon gets it now? Exactly. I'm also here to ensure Chiori's safety. Those who make trouble for her also tend to be rich and powerful. And in some very rare cases, I'm forced to protect other people from Chiori herself. <sighs> so, who got on her case this time? It's been a while since I last saw her that angry. Oh, so this is what happened! Huh? Uter, you say? You've heard of him? Yep. He's made trouble for Chiori several times already. He's fond of pretty much every dirty trick in the book. I heard that even the Maison Guardianage issued him a warning due to his behavior. So he's back at it, huh? His funeral, I guess. Whoa, what's this about a funeral all of a sudden? I just meant that Uter's done for. Now bring it in, you two. Get right up close. Uh, sure, but why? Because this is probably going to turn into one of those very rare cases I just talked about. What are you doing? Stay away from me! Has anyone ever taught you the definition of stupidity? Huh? Stupidity is doing the same meaningless thing over and over again. It appears you've forgotten what I told you before. So, allow me to refresh your memory. 
Lay off the dirty tricks. <coughs> oh, and if you dare lay your hands on my friend again, you can expect a far less pleasant landing next time. Ahem, <coughs> Chiori. <laughs> officer, an assault's in progress. Please, officer, you've got to do something. Of course. I'll do my utmost to investigate the situation. Unfortunately, I was chatting with this traveler and seemed to have missed what happened. Not to worry, though. If you'd allow me to search the scene, I'm sure I'll be able to collect some useful evidence. You don't mind, do you? There's nothing in there that would implicate you in any illegal activity, I would hope. I... forget it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Ms. Chiori, I must also ask you to refrain from engaging in such disorderly conduct in the future. Especially out in the open like this. <sighs> Apologies, officer. I guess you could say I'm just used to tossing out any trash I come across on the street. You... Is there anything else either of you have to say for yourselves? That's all from me. I sincerely hope that today's events will never happen again. We'll see about that. You're too kind. Now's not the time to be accepting compliments. What happened to not doing anything too out of line? Oh, not if I could help it, is what I said. And I think I kept that. I started with a verbal warning, but he displayed neither shame nor remorse. If anything, he kept running his mouth with insults and threats. Insults and threats so bad that he deserved to be tossed out like a sack of trash? Believe it or not, they were that bad. He deserved to get knocked down a peg. It's the only way to get him to stop. You could have reported him to the guards. Oh, I will. But it'll take some time for them to gather evidence. And he denied that he ever had anything to do with those bandits. I don't want anything else to happen during Fontaine Fashion Week. On top of that, if Kirara is going to continue delivering goods for me, the least I can do is guarantee her safety. <sighs> That reminds me, there is another favor I'd like to ask of you today. Hmm, what a shame. I believe you've already used up your favor quota for the day. Have I? Well, it's a good thing I was planning on taking an advance on tomorrow's quota then. Don't you think you're maxed out on advances already? I always pay you back in information, don't I? It's just like you said, you scratch my back, and I scratch yours. We're back. You were gone for an awfully long time. Oh, please tell me nothing bad happened. There's nothing to worry about. All you need to know is that you'll never have to worry about someone in Fontaine messing with your deliveries again. Uh, sorry, Chiori. I didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. What are you talking about? You didn't do anything wrong. Those greedy bandits are to blame, along with a certain someone who doesn't know when to lay off the petty tricks. The next time you need to leave the city, call the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. They'll escort you half of the way, and the Spina di Rasula can take the second half. With that sort of escort, the next time you make a delivery, those treasure hoarders won't go anywhere near your goods. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's to offer to carry them for you. <laughs> uh, good one, Chiori. I'm being serious. You know me. If I bring something up, you can assume it's already a done deal. You're going back to Inazuma tomorrow, right? Wait, you don't mean... I've already spoken to the captain of the special patrol. As discussed, the patrol's going to take a small detour during their daily training tomorrow. As for Navia, I'll give her a heads up in a bit. There's really no need. I'm just a simple courier. I don't need to be surrounded by a bunch of armed guards. Or ones with sunglasses, for that matter. Don't you think this is a bit much? Well, you certainly shouldn't count on such a procession for every trip you make to Fontaine. It's just a one-off thing. For my own peace of mind. It'll also show those guys what'll happen to those who dare to mess with my friends. Oh, wow. 
Well, if you think it's a good idea, Traveler, then I guess it's fine. Well, with the bad guys out of the way and your goods safely delivered, everything should be good to go for Fontaine Fashion Week, right? I believe so. I'll try to churn out a few more outfits over the next few days. I've heard a lot of suppliers will be participating this year. Pylon's gonna take a guess and say if suppliers are super important. But of course. They supply us designers with funding, equipment, factory access. You have to work with them if you want to become a truly renowned fashion house. That's also why this year's Fashion Week is so important to me. But isn't your brand already really famous, Chiori? Your clothes are so pretty and so nice to wear. I can't help but brag about them to my customers whenever I get the chance. Even so, I would imagine there are still people who've never heard of the Chioria brand, yes? Well... I mean, with the amount of places that I deliver to, it's only natural that some people from other nations haven't heard of it. Then it's still not famous enough. My goal is to make the Chioria brand renowned throughout all of Tibet. All of it? Your business would have to get pretty huge then. Wait, would that mean I could just go to any Chioria branch on the continent to get my clothes fixed? It has been pretty inconvenient having to come to Fontaine every time I need to get them patched up. Alternatively, of course, you could just be a bit more careful with them. They're already about as durable as I can make them. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, they do get snagged on branches pretty often. But I can't help it. It's hard to be careful about that sort of thing when you're trying to take a nice nap in a tree. Well, if that's your dream, Chiori, then we should do our best to make it a reality. Is there anything we can do to help out with Fashion Week? Hmm... I'm sure I could think of something. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Why don't you come to my shop tomorrow and model for me? Simply put, you'll serve as my living mannequins. Oh, so we get to try on some of your clothes? Got it! Seeing them off the rack will also give me the chance to make some small adjustments to the stitching and the silhouette of the designs. Sounds easy enough! No need. We've already booked the models for that. If you like them, though, feel free to visit the boutique and see if anything catches your eye. I'll even give you a special discount. curious about all this design stuff. Then we have a deal. You'll model some formal wear, Traveler. And... I don't know. Paimon here will show off some kids' designs. I'll see you both tomorrow, then. Yep, sounds good! Wait. Kids' clothes? 